dear students! Hello, teacher! So, how are you to find out? Okay. Seems like you're not okay. How are you to find out, guys? Okay! That's good. So, before we, before anything else, allow me to introduce myself. So, I am teacher Emily, and I am going to discuss to you the different five math for skills. But the assigned topic to me was just only about the writing skill. Okay, writing skill. <laughs> I know that all of you guys are also writing, right? Yeah. So, what is the importance of writing? What? Writing aims to capture a thought or idea to transfer it to a permanent format, making it tangible. The second one is the responsibility for that transfer falling squarely on the writer's shoulder. The third one, if, you, if communication is the ultimate goal, write for your audience, not for, not for your personal style. Writing has to be much clearer than spoken language because it lacks this assisting cues. And lastly, Great care is required to ensure that your message is accurately interpreted by your audience. Teacher, what are the different types of writing? So the different types of writing are free writing, independent writing, essay writing, narrative writing, expository writing, and lastly, persuasive Before we end this, um, I would like to read uh, a short saying came from Mr. Richard Wright in 1977. He said that, kindly read everyone. I will turn words into this darkness and wait for an echo. And if an echo sounded, no matter how painful, I would send other words to them to march, to fight, to create a sense of anger for a life that not Very good, my dear students. Now that we already know what is the importance of writing, and for sure you guys are also know how to write the different essay because we already learned that from our previous grades. Am I right? Okay, so now, please bring out one whole sheet of paper or any piece of paper and write something about what happened to you for the entire day. So that will be your assignment, okay? So now, we may now proceed to the next macro skill. Good morning, class. Uh, I'm your advisor for today and uh, before we start, I'm... Uh, I'm asking the students first. So, are you familiar in five macro? So, so, the topic that assigned to me is all about reading skills. So, so reading skills. So, the definition of reading skills are the abilities that allow an individual to inter interpret, understand, and derive meaning from written text, they encompass a range of competences from basic decoding of words to advanced comprehension and critical analysis mastery of these skills enables effective and efficient reading across various types of text and text. So, do we have three examples? So, Please can be read of the first example, sir. Phonemic awareness, ability to hear and read and read. Okay, so the second one is use of context clues. It is ability to infer a word based on surrounding words and images. So the last one is memorization. 
ability to rapidly remember our remember and recall words spaces to read rapidly. So we have a short story here entitled The Rabbit and the Tortoise. So are you familiar for this short story? Okay, so all of you kindly read the first paragraph. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit and a tortoise. They were good friends. They used to meet and play every day. The rabbit always boasted that he could run faster than the tortoise. to have a race. They choose a starting and finishing point. The rabbit ran really fast and soon left the tortoise far behind. He thought that the tortoise is too slow and he can rest for a while. The last paragraph. So he stuck under a tree and went to sleep. Meanwhile, tortoise keep walking the whole time and reached the mini court. When the rabbit woke up, so thank you class. So that's our lesson for today. Thank you. Hi, it's me, Eileen Green, and I am the teacher for listening skills. So what is listening? Do you know what is listening is? Listening is the ability to accumulate, receive, and interpret messages in the communication process. The Germanic language from the word listen, which means to pay the word listen, devices is root in attention. Listening skills are the ways to help you to listen something more effectively. So, what are the importance of effectiveness listening skills? So first, we have the listening builds stronger human relationships. Listening is critical in conflict resolution and to avoid communication errors. We have also here it makes you successful in workplace, family, and in society. It also helps us to learn, increase the number of friends and social networks, improve self-esteem, confidence. So we have here the practice of listening. We have the first, receiving. Second is understanding. Third is remembering. Fourth is responding. And five, I, four is evaluating rather. And five is responding. So we have the first one which, which is receiving. So it refers to the response caused by the sound waves stimulating the sensory receptors of the ear, it is physical response. Second is understanding. This is the stage at which you learn what the speaker means, the thoughts and the emotional thoughts. The third one is remembering. It is important to listening process because it means that an individual added message to the mind is and the fourth is evaluating. This is of judging the messages in some ways. We have the last, the responding. This is which requires that the receiver complete the process through verbal or non-verbal feedback because the speaker has no other way to determine if a message has been received. This is which becomes the only overt means by which the sender may de determine the degree of success in transmitting the message. So we have also the techniques of listening skills. We have a uh, focus on key points, being aware of both verbal and nonverbal messages, listen with, with an open mind, avoid false attention and pretending to listen, wait for the speaker to pose to ask, clarification and we have to please the speaker and maintain eye contact try
try to feel what the speaker is feeling and give the speaker regular feedback and we have the respect right to share. Listening time! So, it's time for listening. So, I have here a piece of so story. I prepared a short story from YouTube for them to listen to and I will see if their listening is effective. What was the story all about? Okay, Janine. So the story is all about the foolish rabbit. Okay, very good. So I hope you learned something from me. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Are you okay? Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about uh, five micro skill, but I'm going, but I'm only going to uh, speak about the viewing. So let us first design what, define what is viewing. So viewing is an active process of attending and comprehending visual media such as television. Advertising, images, films, diagrams, symbols, photographs, videos, dramas, drawings, sculpture, and paintings. Okay, so why did viewing emerge as the new macro skill? So why did viewing emerge as a new macro skill? We are living in an advent of internet and the digital revolution where people tend to focus on anything visual. Mobile, mobile devices which allow us to capture still and moving images become a necessary, not a luxury, viewing video sharing platforms such as, such as YouTube, YouTube Appear, and social media networks such as Instagram and Facebook, whose users upload, upload largely visual content to emerge. So why is viewing embraced in the academy? So, it's an easy way for the teacher to be guided while discussing since reviewing could help since viewing could help the teacher ease the pain from talking throughout the period. Students rely much in it and often become more focused and active in comparison with their response when presenting them single modality materials such as plain literature text. Why is viewing a why is viewing embraced in academy? The majority of text students are accessing, accessing outside the classroom are visual text mm -hmm. and multimodal text which use, which use images. It helps students acquire information and appreciate ideas and expresses visual communicated by, uh, by others. It enhances the execution of the lesson properly. Ways to present ideas visually. Okay, so now let's use the view skill by viewing the video that I got on YouTube. Um, it's called the Skeleton of Inca Rebellion. So it's just a short documentary. Anything else? Um, are you 
guys having a TikTok? Do you listen to TikTok lately or something? No, no. I have one. I'm not believing you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call one of you to, you know, to do some challenge on TikTok. Oh. Okay, so who wants to do the challenge? Okay. Would you please stand up? Thank you. This is so easy question. Okay. You will have a conversation. Conversation challenge, can you? Conversation challenge, can you answer some questions in English? What's your name? Where are you from? Where do you live? When is your birthday? Thank you very much. So, nice, no bashing. 